Hello, it's Sparks there, and welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So I decided to do extra mode on my own time, so we're just going to skip that for now. But by the time we get to um, Magdalore's epilogue, which we'll do after Mary Magdaland, that is when we'll, you'll actually see that extra is 100% it. So let's do the arena, which is one of my favorite parts of any Kirby game. So I'm actually quite excited. We can play with up to four players, but I can't. Because I don't have anyone here to play with me. But it's still okay. I've always preferred recording alone anyways. Huh, the fact that the hat man is here. So, what ability should we use? We got all of them available. Including random ability, which is very useful because we can choose whichever one we want. I wonder if we can buy anything from here. Here's our souvenir items. Can we buy souvenir items? Okay, this is just picking, isn't it? I mean, honestly, the extra honey would be nice, but if we encounter a really difficult boss, using the cannon will be really good. Alright, I am ready. Sorry about that. I got interrupted, and Kirby seems to have gotten bored. Oh, I remember this boss. Mr. Duter! Such a funny name. Yeah, we're just gonna wreck everything with sand because you know I'm terrible at this game. Ouch. Okay, you can't really afford to lose health. Although technically this isn't true arena, so I'm not too concerned about losing health. But, I'm not sure what kind of arena this game has. Because I remember... Because I remember that in Kirby Triple Deluxe, you would get health in between fights. So I hope that's also the case here. Otherwise, I may have wasted health when I really shouldn't have. Especially since we're using the sand ability. Nice. Mr. Duder defeated. And was was I right? Yes, you do get it. Ooh, that's tons of health. I don't think we quite need a meta meta at this point. We got 12 more to go. Let's continue on. And we wasted some time already. Oh, I think I remember this boss. Yeah, this boss is pretty difficult. I remember it was one of the first bosses that we actually almost failed. Or we actually failed it. One of the two. Okay, apparently you're invulnerable when you do that. This one just likes to um try to get in my way all the time. Boop. Perfect. Okay, we're already in the second phase. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I fondly remember this. There we go. Then you shrink down and we could just wreck you. Except for when you do that. There we go. Oop. Oop. I did not time that dodge right. It's too early to grab a meta -mato. Way too early. Especially since we have to do the final boss too. That's usually how these arenas go. We might have to be extra mode to unlock true arena. Which means we'll have to be doing uh, Mary Magdalene next time. Because there's no way I'm going to do that. Oh, nice mini bosses. I love doing the mini bosses. Ouch. You're not as hard as the extra version of your kind. Ouch. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. We need to actually start focusing. Well, I didn't know that you could get hurt if they were knocked out. Oh, it's King Do. There we go. Okay, I need to be extra, extra careful to grab the meta -mato. I just didn't expect it, you know? Boom. Thank you very much. Okay, let's do bonkers. Okay, maybe I'm just not using sand ability correctly. What am I doing? Okay. I need serious help right now. We cannot fail normal arena. I have not ever failed normal arena in a Kirby game. Normal arena is supposed to be the easiest one. Yeah, I'm literally getting wrecked. Oh, next we're finding all of the Doomers. What fun. At once? That'd be crazy if we had to fight them all at once. 
but the only disadvantage of sand is that you can't properly move dogs. Which becomes quite problematic. Okay, we got that one no hit. Perfect. Oh, now we have to play two at once. Wow. Put in all the stops. Okay, let's go for that. I already know what to do, so we're good. Luckily, we fought Spear Doomer so many times. Like, each Spear Doomer we fought multiple times. Okay. Oh, I mistimed that midair dodge. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, that's one of them defeated. There's the second one. Okay, we got two hits, but that's okay. Oh no, not this one. This one's the most difficult Spear Doomer. We're just gonna spam it and hope for the best. There we go. Good thing that move gives you visibility, friends. Otherwise, we wouldn't have survived that. Oh, now it's become an orange. Perfect, let's just take the orange. Now we have to fight Grand Doomer, which I remember is a very difficult fight. Yeah, I remember this. This music is jumping. Grand Doomer. You may think you're all powerful, but you're really not. You're just another Doomer, ready to meet your doom. By the hands of Sam Kirby, of course. Yeah, not even your teleporting could save you. Yeah, I wonder what Grand Doomer EX is like. Because I was fighting the EX version of the Doomers in, in extra mode, and it was extremely difficult. This is kind of a cakewalk compared to that. Do we get to do the second phase in a last breath mode, or no? Looks like we don't. It doesn't really matter, that second phase is drawn out and very easy. So why do we have eight more to do? I'm pretty sure this is the final boss. Is it not? This is the final boss before the true final boss. So where's the eight more come from? I'd hate to be spoiled on any future bosses. Ouch. That, that land is actually a threat. What? That gave me invisibility. Okay. Otherwise, that would have been a good attack. I love spamming this attack. So wonderful. Oh yeah, this is the part where you separate into a bunch of mini dragons. Okay, I actually need to prepare to dodge there. Did not mean to do that. I meant to come up and then do this move. But it turned into something else. Okay, Lanyon has been defeated. Unless the second phases are like the next bosses. That could be possible. I wouldn't mind that, really. Oh, the bosses must be in random order. Because pretty sure this is the snow boss. Yeah, we fought the water one. Oh, Goriath, I remember you. It's so good to see you. I remember you're the one boss where sand was not that effective. Because I wasn't fighting the boss directly and I wasn't paying attention. But maybe we can actually do better. Okay, that is obviously going to be an attack that I need to avoid by jumping. Why are you invincible? Just give in to the sand damage. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Yep. Good thing we got a good air dodge in. Yeah, this boss is actually pretty difficult, honestly. There's a lot of movement. Okay, that was terrible, but it's okay. We get a disability friend. Okay, apparently that breaking of things does not hurt me. So let's try and get them in the air. Okay, that worked. And boom, defeated. And we didn't even take any damage. Perfect. I gotta get better at air dodging, for sure. Okay, some more mini bosses are next. They can be taken down so easily with sand. As we are known, Terra Black carry bosses, that's why I cheap out using sand, you know. Now, I feel like the bosses are a lot easier in 3D. 
Why am I such a fool? I literally got hit by that directly. It's these mini bosses you gotta watch out for. You think they're easy, but they're really not. Oh, it's Mondo. What fun. You just played straight into my trap. And you're invincible during that phase. Go. We can jump into you and then wait for you. See, the issue I have is that they get into the corner and then jump off the corner and don't expect it and then I get hit. That's usually how these bosses go. Oops. See, look at that. I wasn't paying attention. See, if I was too close to the corner, I would have gotten hit right there. Water Galboros. Who's next? Oh, Dubor. You're basically mainly in the air. It's perfect for sand. Oops. See, I always accidentally dash with Kirby. I don't know why. Okay, let's grab another meta -mito. I'm doing terrible for a boss rush, honestly. We haven't even fought Wispy Woods and I didn't even notice? It's just an iconic boss. Silly me, I might say. Silly me. Hello. It's Wispy Woods. Prepare to get wrecked by sand, honestly. Like, I don't even have to worry about the apples. This is gonna be hilarious. Oh wait, I forgot you have that ability. Ooh, I did not realize how powerful the dash attack was. Well, it makes sense, because it's just this, but it does it a bunch of times in the brow. Frick. Nice, we, but we did get hit once. And that was literally the first boss. Oh yeah, I remember you. You're a really cool boss, the Metal General. Because you like displayed your damage. Wait for it. And, ooh yeah, that dash is really good. According to this, we're doing like 100 damage. That must be good, right? Okay, so we can destroy the missiles. Good to know. I remember the second phase of this boss being crazy. Not so much the first phase. And I was correct. Oh yeah, they read in on the giant missile. So cool. You think I could get a air dodge in? Answer is yes. Yes I can. Okay, if I was moving that would have been a good dodge. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that makes you grab and just get the closer uh, no. Oh, I need that copy ability, like desperately. I forget that you do that now. I'm just gonna defeat you. Don't need to dawdle around. That's my issue with bosses and curving. I like to see all the moves, so I just, you know, not pay attention to just all around. I don't even know what that means. Oh! This boss. I like this boss. This boss is so much fun. Do we have to fight the whole thing? Like the whole, um, side going bit? Or are we just gonna fight the boss? Because if so, this boss was so much fun. And I wish every single boss shows your damage value like the, uh, robot does. Oh wait, that's not how you avoid that. I forget, you have a dash, don't you? Yeah, you have a dash, which I barely utilize at all during this fight. There we go. This is one of the funnest fights. This is the perfect time to charge in. Because you can't even attack, and boom. You get a mega shot right there. I remember the second phase of this boss being quite tricky. Yep, I recall this. And then the red ones. The red ones are really scary because they home in. Oop, get ready for the ultimate charge attack. Wait, how am I supposed to switch sides? Did this happen last time? 
so I did not mean to get hit multiple times. This is actually a really easy ball. There we go. Okay, apparently you can only dash forward. Good to know. But these are lightly homing, but they're light cutter. Why am I terrible at dodging things today? This is bad. This is bad. We're gonna fail the boss rush. Good thing this isn't true arena. Good thing it is not true arena. It doesn't make sense to do that boss before it actually does. That's how it works in the story. Okay, I remember this boss being extremely easy. Magalore was extremely weak. And powerless. Against sand, that is. I wonder if we get to do the fun part of the boss. In the second phase. Okay, time for the second phase. Black Hole of Doom. Not falling for that. Although you may want, want me to, but it will not work. I'm just far too powerful for you. For this being one of the final bosses, this boss is extremely easy. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this part. I just wanted to stay away from the fire. Boom, defeated. And we're only 12 minutes into the boss rush. That's pretty good. I thought this arena video would take like 4 minutes, but now we're gonna- we're already on to the true final boss. I'm ready for true Magdalore, or what was it called? It's been a while since I actually played the finale of this game. Oh, you're just Magdalore. But you're big now. Big Magdalore. If I remember you some enemies. Wow, that's already the first day it's done. Maybe you should do better, Magdalore. Uh-huh, and then use a giant sword. Which you will always fail to use against me. Okay, stop teleporting around. Yeah, I remember this part. This is the part where it teleports around way too much. It does still even hurt me because I could just... The amount of vulnerability frames you get to stand is hilarious. Are we going to do the final, final part? Or is that actually the end of the boss rush? Oh no. I think he fell into a black hole. But I'm not too certain. Apparently he's been sent to another dimension. Ooh, nice. We got gold time. Good. So that's the arena. Now you can select characters that are in Kirby in the arena. Try entering the battle of Bandana, Waddle Dee, or King DVD. Cool. Okay, let's go to Mary Magdalene. Let's check out the scene of Mary Magdalene, shall we? Yep, let's play as Kirby. Was there a choice to not play as Kirby? No, I would not like to switch to ex extra mode. No, okay. So apparently we'll continue extra mode from here. So what should we try first? Crackety hack, I guess? Let's do level 1. Press A to stop the gauge. Try to stop it at the highest point possible. When the marker overwhelms, press A to unleash the rock. Okay. Let's use button controls. You might actually switch to motion controls, because motion controls are fun. But let's just try with button controls for now. Because we're trying to get the best score. Ready? Go. Oh, I see. You gotta charge it up. 
then we need to wait this to hit. Oh, that was not perfect. We probably lost the CPUs. Ooh, yes! So we got a distance of 800. Four, 850. Nice. We hit lava light right there. Cool. Anyways, in the next video, we're going to go through Mary Magdalene. And we're going to have so much fun in Mary Magdalene. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Whoa, we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways, this is going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.